Today's a little bit different, okay? We've got, it's a lot earlier for one. It was, the sun's not even came up yet. I've seen three people so far, and two of them works here. We are trying surf fishing, which means we're literally just passing out in the middle of the ocean. But today is different than yesterday. One, the waves are a little bit more chill, but then two, we actually found an actual spot to fish. So apparently it's possible to like read the waves and figure out where the sandbars are. And right here we found a spot where there's actually no waves, which means there's no sandbars, which somehow means there's a rip current. And if you swim in there, you're gonna die. I don't know. There's some waves, there's waves. But right here where I'm fishing, there's not really waves. I mean, there's a few right here, but from there on, there's no way. Somewhere on the internet said there's gonna be fish there though, so I don't really care. But one thing I do know, all my shrimp have uh, passed away last night. I'm just gonna freeze them and take them back to Kentucky. My bubble box ran out of batteries, which is kind of okay. The water turned a very ugly color, which is, well, I'll say it's okay. And now they're kind of starting to stink, if you know what I mean. I mean, they, they, they say they smell like dead fish, so. <laughs> Okay, boys, look here. I just reeled it in. We got about 30 pounds of milk for you on here, but then our shrimp is kind of gone. I don't know if this was a fish or not, but because I'm not really bad and having much luck, I'm going to say, yeah, we had a fish, okay? I don't know. Otherwise, I'm just going to look like a bad fisherman. So, yeah, we definitely had one. Yeah, sure, why not? boys and girls that order to do it not gonna lie it's kind of sad that all my shrimp died but i don't really know i mean i guess they they're just shrimp so i guess that's kind of what they do i don't know nothing about no shrimp okay guys i got more updates i had a fish on there i really did it was biting it was just tapping like all that stuff then whenever i rolled it up my shrimp was going but the reason i didn't get to capitalize on it is because i was kind of kind of too busy looking at my shrimp but as for the shrimp i did change out the water we got about 14 con confirmed deaths in here so uh no need to yeah, they all dead. Some of them's turning pink. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Worst case scenario, I'm just gonna freeze them and take them back catfish with them. Best case scenario, I can just catch fish on them here, but yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. But I did get a bite, and that is good. That is really good. We got a bite. Yeah. My rod tip is displaying some weird behavior. Just letting you know, guys, it's a lot different than catfish. There's a whole lot of interference between the rod and the fish. I'm really not that good at telling if it is a fish or a wave or possibly a rock. Let's just set the hook on it and uh, hopefully we'll catch some. I don't know if I got a fish or not. I hope I do, but I don't think I do. If I got a fish, that'd be cool, but hey, maybe I do. No, nah, I don't have a fish. Mm-mm. Not yet. Here's the thing, guys, about ocean fishing. Even though I know nothing about it, I can act like I'm a professional because the people asking, they don't know anything about it either. I probably know more than they do. Okay, guys, we moved to a new location. I decided to move from that last one because they, uh, they started being a lot of people coming on the beach. But with a lot of people coming on the beach, there came some questions. One of the most popular was, how you doing? You catching any? My response, no. Another pretty popular question is, uh, what are you fishing for? My response, I have no idea. And then another popular question I got. What does that sign say? And my response is the back porch, bar and grill. I am legally blind. I can't hardly see a thing. Well, well, nice to meet you, legally blind. My name's Kendall. Okay, thank you. Like, okay, cool, I guess. We're going bass fishing this evening, and we will catch fish in this video. I guarantee we might catch a fish. In the meantime, I have found this slug, and we're going to name her Barb. She don't move much, but, you know, like I said, my name's Barb. Don't expect too much, because you ain't going to get too much. So, guys, I'm pretty sure we've already distinguished that the salt life is not for me. But now we're at a little bit different location like I was saying earlier, we have some fresh water and supposedly, well, apparent, according to the person at the front desk, there's some big mouth bass in here. So you know it's about to, have to be a good time. The bait of choice, I'm using a whopper plopper. You know what, let's just try it. Basically, here's what I'm saying, guys. If I can't catch fish here, 
I may not be catching a fish. I don't know. We'll start it off cast right over here. If there's not a fish over here, I don't know what to tell you, bub. <laughs> kind of sad because of... Uh, I had the most confidence right here because it was actually bass fishing. You know, this is my element. I don't have an excuse. But of course, I'm going to find one. I'm going to say there just ain't no fish in here. I fished about the whole place uh, just using and uh, no bites. So. There's one dude fly fishing, but I can tell you right now, he ain't going to catch nothing. To all you guys that uh, live in Florida, I'll tip my hat to y'all because uh, this place is rough. We drove like 10 hours to come down here, and three days later, I ain't caught a fish, boys. Florida has eaten me whole and spit me back out. But no need to worry, guys. It's okay. I have a plan, and that plan calls for immediate evacuation. All right, well, I need you to get the shrimp, get my fishing pole, and take me to the bay. Okay, guys, I'm up. Uh... We left that spot. We're at a new location. We're actually back at the bay. I'm pretty sure we was here last night. Of course, we didn't catch anything last night, but I'm sure you expected that. You know how people have like plan A, plan B, plan C? We'll just throw out all that out the window, okay? We're actually on B, C, D. We're on plan F right now. Now, from what I've heard, bay fishing is literally the easiest thing ever. You just take a shrimp, throw it out there, and you're going to catch something. That's what I've heard. If I can't do this, maybe I'll just go back home. I don't know. I'm using the same rod I was using on the beach. I just came in here, got my pet shrimp, Chris. He's been dead for like, I don't know, maybe 24 hours, but that's okay. I still think he has a chance to get eaten by somebody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I got one. There's no way. There's no way, dude. I think I caught a fish. I think I caught a fish. I think I caught a fish, bro. There's no way. There's no way I caught a fish. I'll be honest, guys. I'm in disbelief. I don't believe this is happening. But I think I really did catch one. Oh, snap. Dude. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. I think I just caught a fish. You're stinky kidding me, dude. Dude, where's the cameras? This prank show, ain't it? What we got here? Mmm, yes, sir. What we got here, son? Looks like we got a some kind of catfish. Stop, Jeff. Jeff, behave yourself. It's been a long, hard-fought battle, but I finally caught Jeff. About dang time, I'll be honest. We'll see you, Jeff. He didn't know. He bit literally as soon as he hit the bottom. He just looked, almost took my rod away, and that'd been kind of sad, because this is like a $100, $100 rod, you know? Anyways, guys, uh, that was a good shrimp. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get that right back out there, and we may just catch another one. Well, guys, it, uh, it got kind of dark, but I still got it. He's not much bigger than the first one. Probably about, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half, maybe? No, definitely not. Look at TV. You're pretty little kid fish. You're pretty, you're pretty little kid fish. Okay, we're putting you back. Okay, guys, I know y'all can't see me, but, uh, we're going crabbing. It is not time, but I'm doing my phone line here a second. You may be asking, Kendall, dude, what's crabbing? And my answer to that is I have no idea, but it seems like a lot of people are doing it. I'm pretty sure the premise is uh, you just walk around at dark with lots, and if you, you if you see a crab, you tr try to chase it. Yeah, that's really all I'm going off of at this point. I don't really uh, I don't really know how exciting this is going to be, but whoa, what the heck is that? It ain't no crab. It's a saltwater cockroach. Get down to the ground. Get get down. Get get out of here, sir. Good luck on your adventure, brother. And I'll continue on with mine. I'm not really seeing any crab. I mean, you gotta take into account, I really don't know what to look for, but I ain't seeing nothing, so... I don't know, maybe I can find a professional out here that knows what they're doing. Found any crabs? No, not today. It's not as many today. Last night we got a bunch. So, you got yeah. any? No, I don't know what I'm looking for either. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they white crabs. They are not out tonight. Yesterday, I mean, we were, they were all over the place. They were just sitting on the sand. And then they would run and you, and they would dip. And this was when the water was up here, or no. just that normal sand? Just normal sand. Look, I'll show you a picture. We caught it last night. That's pretty big, too, ain't it? Yeah, that was, yeah, a, that's that was a, a big one. That was a big one, but, like, you know, there was, um, we chased a little one. He was little. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it just depends. You just kind of have to, you'll see him moving. Mm -hmm. so. Not as many tonight. No, it good not. No. If you didn't understand half the words she was saying, I didn't either. Have you found any crabs? No. Oh, snap. Bro, no way. No way, there's a crab. Are y'all serious? Oh, no, I just lost him. He was quick. Oh, there he goes. He ain't getting away from me, big boy. Well, I don't know. I guess I spoke too soon. He definitely got away from me. I don't know if that's what all the hype's about, but if it is, I think these people are overreacting a little bit. Well, right, here's a crab. He did, though. We're gonna name him Boone, because I had a dog named Boone. And it died, too. Uh, there goes a crab. Bro, there's a crab. Bro, there's a crab. There's Mr. Krabs. My boy, thank you.
Dude, they hurt me. My man just tried to kill me. Now, I will say this. Yesterday, I was kind of making fun of a shrimp because they were uh, kind of like the handicapped version of a crawdad. Well, this. This is like a step up from a crawdad, okay? These things are fierce. They don't care what you think about them. And they do not discriminate on who they destroy. Mr. Krabs, give me the Krabby Patty formula. Ow. Stop. Let go of me. Ow. Stop. Ow. Ow. Get off. I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, that thing just brought blood to me. Let me be honest, guys. Didn't really expect them to have the power of needle nose pliers, but that really hurt, and I think I want to go inside now. Tackle him, but I do think you should come back and watch the video. 